Hello guys, welcome back. Uh, today we will see a very important question. How to reverse a byte? Okay, um, so that comes under embedded C programming. Um, let's see. So let's say if you are giving an input of 7, which is a decimal value, and this is a binary value, right? So you get the output like this. This is a byte. So what is a byte? Byte is byte contains eight bits, right? So we have eight bits here, five and three eight. So when you give input like this and you get output like this, which is equivalent of two twenty four uh, as a decimal value. <coughs> so uh, let's see. Let's jump into the program. Okay. Okay. So uh, what is the input value here? You, if you want, you can uh, um, get the input from user and you can try for different um, values. But since we are going to consider only an algorithm, let's see how to do it. Let's see output value, okay? Okay, so as I said, uh, this is 8 bits, right? So we need to keep that in mind. This is a byte. So similarly, you can do for 4 bytes, which is 32 bits, uh, 64 bits. You can do for either of them. The same logic works for everything. <coughs> Let's jump into the logic. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to take a for loop and uh, So how many bits we are going to do? Eight. So we can do that. So now let's. This is a bit number of bits, right? So let us. I would prefer always uh, define the constants in the macro. Um, let's go and define the macro num so that it'll be easy to identify what it is if that makes sense now so we are going to run through eight bits so now let's see so here we need to initialize the output value to zero otherwise some junk value will get updated so I'll tell you what, why am I uh, doing this? Um, um, why am I why am I adding the values? <coughs> so the operation what we are doing is for every bit, right inside the byte. So whenever you do the operation for every bit, you are adding that value to output value. So let's see. Okay. So now we take the input value. This is an important thing and do the right shift of I so if you see if you have seen my other videos um, you might have known but I'll go ahead and explain what is this so we so here the value for computer um, the value will be like this so it takes the first zeroth position okay the zeroth bit it takes the zeroth bit And okay, so it is right shifting this input value, which means that when it do right shift, it takes this bit out, okay, and and with one. And we know now we know what value we have. What is the value? One, right? So we take that value, and then we do lift shift. I'll tell you what is this lift shift is. <coughs> lift shift. okay so now let's say this is the output okay so the output we have initialized is 8 bits like this 6 3 6 7 8 so we have initialized the output like this right so now what we have done we have taken the input value and we have shifted 
zeroth position because the first position is zero. We have taken this first bit and we ended with the first bit and we are left shifting the bit, the taken bit, which is one to eight, right? Into the output value. So output value is initialized to zero zero zero. Now we are shifting like this. So <coughs> we are shift so let us say the output will be here. We are shifting. If we shift it will go here to this position, right? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So it went to this position because we are doing a left shift on output value. Uh, all number of eight times eight minus one and minus i. Why we have minus one? The computer. Um, counts from 0 to 7 that's 8 so that's why we are doing minus 1 and I which position it has to go to so right now I is 0 so 8 minus 1 is 7 so it goes to 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 seventh bit set so let's say what happens in the next one okay so next iteration this will I will be 1 and it takes second position second bit position which is nothing but 1 again and it is adding with this with one and then now this bit position is what uh, number of byte is eight eight minus one is seven seven minus one its i value is one six so now we have zero one zero 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 okay we have a different output so now we already have this output value and we have a new output value and we are doing or or get so this is the or get we are adding this and this which will result in this right and then so likewise we keep uh, we can keep I mean the loop keeps on going and uh, finally it will produce this output and the equivalent uh, integer value of that is 224. Let us see if that prints out. couple of things you need to be careful here so you need to initialize output value to zero otherwise there will be some junk value and that will keep on uh, getting in, um, odd with uh, future values that's one thing and you need to don't you know, don't forget the R gate here that's very important otherwise you will get the one get only the last uh, operated value okay okay let's print this guy and see here we are getting there you go, we're getting 224, right? Okay, let's say if we can change to 1. Mm. <coughs> one twenty. So if you reverse the value this guy, you will get 128. You can check that in binary calculator. Yep, uh, we are done. Um, you can try with 8 bits. 32 bits, 6 to 4 bits, the logic works for the same. The only thing you need to uh, declare like this long if you want to do 32 bit. And here as well, long 32 bit. <coughs> okay. Um, yeah, so you can try with all those options. Uh, let's catch up with the next question um, in the new video. Subscribe my channel. If you like this video, bye.